Hey everyone, Matthew G here. I just wanted to go over how I actually minted a token through Manifold Studio on my own smart contract. This video was influenced by Wanderlude's photography, who kind of inspired me to, to get on having my own smart contract and doing it through Manifold Studio, which has been nothing but a great experience for me so far. Um, I do have my contract minted. It's called Matthew Giblin Music. The symbol's MGM. It's an ERC721. So that's all set, ready to go. So you go to tokens, and here is my to my first one of one that I actually minted. It's like an audio visual piece, but in reality, right now, for the sake of learning, we'll do mint new token. And this is basically the page that comes up, as you can see artwork title, you know, description, additions, properties, and things like that. So basically, you fill all that info in, you know, whether it's an image, whether it's a video. And then you, the good thing about Manifold is you can mint right to testnet and not have to spend any money to do that. And the reason why you would actually mint to testnet is to actually just make sure that everything is showing up on the marketplaces as you want it to. You can view everything that you do here on OpenSea, for example, to see how it's going to show up. You know, to make sure your description's showing up correctly, your properties are showing up. Everything about your NFT is, I guess, showing up the way you want it to show up on these marketplaces. And that's kind of the main use for the testnet. Because once you put it on the blockchain, it's there and it's staying. Granted, you can edit metadata for a small fee, which is great because say you did mess something up, you can always go back and edit it. Um, but you want to be able to do this in the most efficient way possible. So yeah, basically that's, that's the gist of it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, I uploaded my video. I, you know, labeled it Dark Side of the Pineapple, created by Matthew Giblin. Did a little description and then here are some traits that could go along with it which this is my first one of one so as i continue on this smart contract there might be certain rarities based off of certain aspects of my piece but that's about it once you're once you're happy with how everything is showing up on OpenSea and rarible on the testnet um you review and finalize and then you mint it. So I just wanted to go over one more thing pertaining to the smart contract on Manifold and minting the NFT. When you mint that NFT the first time to the smart contract, that collection, which this collection is Matthew Giblin Music, is going to be put on OpenSea, Rarible, Looks Rare, other various platforms, right? So, all right, say you sell your first NFT, then it sells again. That's secondary royalty. So you, you need to set a royalty manually on OpenSea to make sure that you're still going to get compensated. So you would just go into the collection and basically make sure that you set your percentage fee. In this case, is 10% on every secondary sale that's made. Um, that's something that I do think is important. I believe Rarible does it automatically. So whatever you set it at through the Manifold contract, um, it updates on Rarible, I believe. Um, but there are other marketplaces where you do need to set that, OpenSea being one of them. It's just something I think everyone should be aware of when they're minting and when they have a collection through Manifold. So that's the gist of how I minted my first NFT on my own smart contract through Manifold Studio. Let me know if I missed anything. I kind of rushed through it, but yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.